Hear ye, hear ye, all rise. Here comes the judge. This court is now in session. You please may be seated. Mr. Lee, where's your client rested potato? We're about to begin the trial. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I don't know what's keeping her. It's not like her to be late. If she doesn't show up in the next two minutes, this case will be dismissed. We all have things to do. She's the one who brought this complaint to the court in the first place, so I should think she will be on time. I move be dismissed. I second that. Quiet, Ms. Yam. You are not allowed to chime in. You are, Mary, mind you, the accused. The wrongly accused. That is yet to be decided. <laughs> Sorry, Your Honor. It's about time you got here, potato head. I got stuck behind a truck of tomatoes. Tomatoes? Yuck. I can't stand tomatoes. All right, come on, everyone. Let us begin. All set, Your Honor. The court of Edgewood will now hear the case of rusted potato versus sweet potato, or yams, as they are also known. Yams are not sweet potatoes, Your Honor. It's a common mistake, but for the record, my client is a sweet potato, not a yam. Same difference. <laughs> Yams are not grown here, sir. They're grown in Asia and Africa. It's a common mistake, but one that is important to my client. <laughs> they are different potatoes. Yams have a yellow flesh, while sweet potatoes have a dark orange flesh. But even your client's last name is Yam. Her last name is Yam, due to some confusion in the shipping yard many years ago. All right, rusty potato versus sweet potato. Let's get on with it. We will be showing the court today that the sweet potatoes of Veggie Run, under the uh, under their leader, Miss Yam, are trying to take over the russet potato business by destroying the russet potato crop. Th there is now barely one yellow russet potato left in the field. Save my client here. This is all done on the night of September 20th. <laughs> my client denies all charges. You will hear from witnesses today who will tell you they saw Miss Yam, along with her buds, in the north field in the, dead of in the dark of night. Digging up the potato crop in the north in the north field in the dark of night, digging up the potato crop and disposing of the crop. Disposing them where? They have not yet been found. What reason would the sweet potato have to destroy the popular and delicious russet potato? You just said it yourself. Popular and delicious. By destroying the russet potato crop, restaurants in the area have been forced to switch to sweet potatoes instead of the yellow ones. And the reason for this crime? One of the oldest on record. Jealousy. <gasps> what are the court? That's ridiculous. My client and her buds were nowhere near the north field that night. And how do you know whoever dug up the potatoes was trying to take over the potato business? Maybe they just really like russet potatoes. It will soon be obvious. Continue, Brock. As Miss Russet said in a written report, there are shreds of orange pulp left at the scene. No doubt for when the poor Russets try to fend off their attackers. <sighs> oh, brother. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Russet. Yes, Your Honor. I submit this sample as Exhibit A, clearly from sweet potatoes. That's orange, all right. Yep, dark orange. Your Honor, do you mind if you're not supposed to take sides? I just said it was orange. Jeez. For the record, I would like it known that I went to the potato field this morning and examined the orange residue with myself, and it gives no sign of being that of a sweet potato. The question is, how and why would there be this dark orange flesh found among the russets in the night in question when russets have a pale yellow-white skin? All right, Ms. Stock, please bring up your first witness. I call Mr. Erlin to the stand. Do you promise to be truthful so you have your green fields? I do. You may sit. <laughs>
Would you have heard if a group of sweet potatoes had gotten up and left the field? Yes, I would have. I am a very light sleeper, and I know all that goes on in my field. That is all. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Luke, your variety of sweet potatoes goes by another name, does it not? Sometimes. And what is that name? Envy. Envy as in jealous? <gasps> water, water! Objection! She's picking on the witness's name. Isn't it true, Mr. Luke, or Mr. Envy, that you are close friends with all the other sweet potatoes? Yes, we're a strong and a true team, strong and hardy potatoes originally from South America dating back 5,000 years. Since you all are such good friends, what do you be willing not to turn in one of your own to the veggie police, even if you knew sweet yam yeah, was guilty? Absolutely not. <laughs> I am a potato, a sweet potato of the highest integrity and I always do the right thing. I have no further questions. Please take your seat, everyone. Thank you. Who's next? Would Cabbage please take a stand? Sure will. And now a word from our sponsors, Spinach Queen. <coughs> organic. And it doesn't get stuck in your teeth. <laughs> do you promise to be truthful so you help your green fields? I do. You may say. State your name and ask. Cabbage Oak Tree Farm. And what have you recently noticed about the Oak Tree Cafe in the village? There's a sign out front that says the only available French fries is a sweet potato fries, and the only available mashed potatoes is mashed and mashed sweet potatoes. Order, order! <laughs> and did you ask why they were serving this replacement? I did. They said it was because there are no roses available from Venom to leave. They said all dough that was their second choice. Sweet potatoes are better than nothing. Better than nothing? We're delicious. What do you think people eat at Thanksgiving? Sweet potatoes smothered and buttered and baked with tiny marshmallows? Quiet, what? Quiet, Miss Yam. It's not your turn to talk. Continue, bitch. I asked why there are no yellow russets. And they said it was because they, they heard that they got dug up and hauled away. Objection! This is hearsay. He is no witness. Seeing something is not the same as seeing or hearing something is not the same as seeing a crime in action. I have no further questions, Your Honor. <laughs> For the record, Mr. Big, you never actually saw any potatoes being dug up and hauled away, correct? True, but... That is all. Thank you. But I think it's obvious what the sweet potatoes are doing. We are not interested in your opinion, Mr. Bitch. Just facts. Cab, you may step down. Next witness. I am sorry, Josh, but Mrs. Dahl has a family emergency and needs to leave. Hello, Your Honor. I'm Miss Stock number two. I'll be filling in for Miss Stock one. Who's next? I call butternut squash to the stand. All right, yay, thank you. Do you promise to be truthful so you have your green fields? Okie dokie. You may say. Butternut, where do you and the other squash grow? In the south fields, next to the big red barn. What other crops grow there? Green beans, peas. And? Corn, zucchini. Uh-huh. And where were you on the night of September 20th? In my field, enjoying the night air along with all the other squash. Do you enjoy being a butternut squash butternut? Objection! Who cares if butternut likes being a butternut squash? <laughs> you may answer butternut. Of course, who doesn't like butternut squash? 
Sauteed with butter and cinnamon used in soups? Please take your seat, butternut. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Well, Zia Mays, please, please take the stand. <laughs> Do you promise to be truthful so you have your green field? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> You may sit. Say your name and location. The amazing south field, you know, the cornfields. Um, what, and where were you on the night of September 20th? Taking a walk under the fabulous moonlight. In the south field? No, in the north field. That's quite a distance from your own area. I had trouble sleeping in the night, so I thought I would walk up to the north field to tie myself out. Makes sense. And what, do you, what did you observe while you were there? I saw Mrs. Nina and the other sweet potatoes digging up the russet potatoes. That's a lie! Continue, continue, Brock. Um, that's all. Thank you, Mace. Mr. Mace, you said you were walking in the moonlight? Correct. Well, according to the Farmer's Almanac, it was a moonless night, September 20th, with almost no light at all in any of the fields. I must have not noticed. If there was no moonlight, how could you have seen it was the sweet potatoes tearing up the field? Well, uh, I couldn't see that well, but I could make out the shape and the shadow of the sweet potatoes. The shape? So you just assumed because of the shape it was Miss Yam and her buds digging up the russets? Could it have just as easily been any other vegetable? Russets? Nope. Darn it, sort of maybe. Maybe. What did you do after that? I went on back to the cornfields. Did you report what you saw? No, I went to bed. Did you hear any suspicious noises or activity when you, after that? No, I told you I went to bed. I couldn't have heard any noises or anything coming from the barn. I. Who said anything about the barn? You did. You just asked if I heard any noises coming from the barn. I never said the word barn. I, I thought you did. Objection! Who cares if May has heard anything coming from the barn? It's a farm! Of course there would be noises coming from it. There's chickens, horses... Continue, Miss Sock. The truth is, Mr. Mays, I believe you did hear unusual noises coming from the barn late that night, and you went to go check it out, didn't you? Badgering the witness. <laughs> Why else would you have mentioned the barn when I did not? I, I don't know. What was in the barn, Mr. Mays? I, I, oh, I can't do this. Except for in autumn. And the russets are there all year. 
Oh, and how lucky you are. Huh? You get months off to see in cozy pots by the window. Relax in the sun. Nothing to do until your busy season. We are we never get a break. Ever. We're either growing outside or growing in greenhouses. The demand for our potatoes are so high. That's sure there's french fries, steak fries, hash browns. M mashed, baked, tater tots, potato salad. Potato chips. Rippled, baked, barbecued. Potato pancakes. Potato dumplings. Potato soup. We never get asked, asked if we'd like a break. I never thought about it like that. Us sweet potatoes have the same problem as you, Butternut, hearing about these fabulous potato dishes all the time. Try being me for once. Do you know how many kids hate broccoli? Or turnips. I mean, come on. People run from turnips. <laughs> We all have a part to play in the vegetable kingdom, Butternut, and each one of us is unique in our own ways. But together, we provide a healthy, well-balanced veggie world. Even tomatoes. Tomatoes are fruits! All right, all right! <laughs> I'm sorry, Russ. I shouldn't have done that. And Maisie told me to put the russets back when, and that it was wrong when he saw them. It's all right. It sounds like my taters are safe in the hay. They are. We hit them pretty well. Miss Sam, I owe, you, I owe you an apology. I thought you said I had to destroy us because you were jealous. Maybe a little jealous, but I would never put you and your potatoes to harm. You knew it was butternut, didn't you? I was pretty sure once I went onto the field and looked. Since the rest of potatoes are okay and everyone's learns to do nothing like this ever again, I think we can dismiss all charges today. What do you say? Yeah. Promise. Okay, come on, let's go eat. All this talk has made me hungry. What do you want to have for lunch, Judge? Anything but tomatoes. <laughs>